we're starting? We're starting with the Air Force Falcons. All right. Air Force Academy. Here we go. Air Force Falcons went 5-7 and seven last year, 3-5 and five in the Mountain West. They returned seven offensive starters and seven on defense. They are the number two most experienced team in the Mountain West, number 25 in the country. So that's pretty good. Sure. Pretty good. Uh, head coach Troy Calhoun, he's 87 and 67 in 12 years, uh, and he is he's getting the most starters back since going 10 and 3 in 2014. So that yes, is sir. a good sign. Uh, five of their seven losses in 2018 were by six, three, four, three, and eight. A lot of close games. A ton of close a lot, games. A lot of coin flips. Yeah. And, the la- and we think that older, more mature players find ways to win coin flip games, right? Yeah. I, I think, mean, we think, I think experience so. helps and, with and, coin and flip games. Schedule. Maybe, well, schedule schedule helps. too. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, you got the schedule up in front of you. I most certainly do. Yeah. I will. Uh, I will bring that up momentarily. The last Air Force quarterback to start every game was Connor Dietz in 2012. Uh, quarterback Donald Hammond, uh, he is great at everything, like distributing the ball. Uh, you know, they they went 17 and 14 last year to Army, or lost 17 to 14 to Army. Uh, he guaranteed a win over Army this year. The dude likes to talk a lot. Um, but he, he only got to play in a few games last year. So we'll see. I mean, he went out with an injury. We'll see if he can actually stay healthy this season. Defense was number three in FBS, allowing only 38% of rushes to go for uh, four yards or more. The entire starting defense is upperclassmen. I like this team. I don't like their schedule. I was just about to say I've got them increasing a little bit, but they do have a couple of hard games. Yeah, they they got uh, they got a few. So it, last year was five and seven. Um, I've got them seven and five, and I've got them four and four in conference. Uh, here's the schedule rundown. So they open with Colgate, and then they've got a bye. Uh, then you go to Colorado, to Boise State. Now that's a rough opening. That's tough. And then you've got San Jose State at Navy, Fresno State. I think they win all three of those. Woo! Even at Fresno. Even at Fresno. Okay. Well, no, no, it's uh, Fresno at home. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I, I think, you know, Fresno I think is going to be pretty good, and we'll talk about them later, but, you know, I, I think that Air Force can get this one at home. Then they travel to Hawaii, and then they get Utah State and Army both at home. I think they lose all three of those. I think they lose at Hawaii, they lose to Utah State, they lose to Army. You do think they lose to Army. Yes. I don't I, think he comes through with his game. I don't think he comes through with that. I think Army is legit this year. Um, I could be wrong about that, but, man, I, I love that football team. And then at New Mexico and at Colorado State, I think they win both of those, and then they close out with a win over Wyoming at home. That puts them at 7-5 and five for me. What have, what have you got them at? I think the same thing. I, I'm, I'm going back and forth between 7-5 and five and 8-4. and four. I, I do like this team. I like that they're more experienced. I like the coach. I mean, I could see him. I could see him getting the win at Hawaii. I could see him getting the win uh, against Utah State. Uh, Army was a close game last year, so they. I mean, they they could easily pull one of these out. But I also think you know, like married to it, nailed to it. I got to. I'll, I'll go seven and five. I'll. I'll, I'll All right, hedge. so we're both I'll rolling. Hedge. I'll hedge myself a little bit. Both rolling seven and five. Then yeah. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I was trying to look at the schedule to see can I talk myself into the eight wins just to be different. And, and no, no, I want to. <laughs> I just, I just couldn't do it. 